Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back and I'm so happy and so grateful that you're here. I took a long, much needed break because I was really going through a lot in my personal life. It was really rough um, for the starting of the year. But yeah, I just knew that I had to give myself a lot of grace and the space and time to really get through it and put my mental health first. And I'm so glad that I did because I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel more like myself and I'm just ready to be back and bring new fresh energy and good vibes. But today I'm just having a me day. Well, for the first part of the day and I didn't schedule any workout classes or anything because I just really wanted to give myself a day to just relax so I woke up early and just had a really slow morning I curled my hair while I watched YouTube videos I made myself a good coffee and put on my favorite makeup and put on a really cute outfit and I just feel really good now and I'm gonna go to my new favorite spot in Phoenix is called dialogue and get myself my favorite matcha latte and I'm just gonna journal and read and just see where the day takes me So before I leave I want to do a quick outfit of the day I have a work meeting in a bit and it's really cold out in Phoenix So I needed to dress appropriately for that. So up here my gold hoops are from love AJ of course My necklaces are from Lily clasp my rings are all from Modern Co. This buttery colored knit that I love so much and my favorite pair of Levi's are both from Monday Mornings Vintage. And on my feet, I'm just wearing my Comme des Garçons shoes. And for my purse, I'm wearing just my Bottega Veneta hobo bag, which has been my absolute favorite because you could just fit a ton of stuff inside. And then of course, the book I'm reading, my journal, Muji pen always, and I'm ready to go. Come on, turn off. I just got done at Dialogue. I got my favorite matcha that I told you about earlier. I read and had a little brain dump journal sesh and I feel really good. I always feel really good when I do stuff like that. That's why I always try to prioritize my time to do the things that make me feel good. But now I'm on my way to Trader Joe's because I really want to do something nice for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was yesterday, but today I'm like, you know what? I want to do something nice for him this time because yesterday he took me to eat sushi. It was delicious. But yeah, so I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and buy the pre-made dough and just all the ingredients to make pizza. And I'm going to make it like a heart shape just to be like really cute and festive. So I'm really excited because I'm going to surprise him and it's going to be both of our first time doing something like this, so I think it would just be a really cute bonding thing. So I just got home and I have to leave for my meeting soon, but I thought I would do a quick little grocery haul. First, I wanted to show you how I got the idea to do this. So when my boyfriend asked me to be his Valentine like two weeks ago, he got me this card from Trader Joe's and it's so cute. It says, this might sound cheesy, but you put the cute in charcuterie and he made me a charcuterie board and pasta. So I kind of want to do the same thing, but different. And it's really cute on the inside. It says, will you bring my Valentine? <laughs> so that's kind of like the theme for today. So I got a Caesar salad because my boyfriend's been in a Caesar mood lately and I thought that would be good with pizza. And I got these white water, or was it white? No, water crackers for my little charcuterie board. Mushrooms. I got a few Roma tomatoes because I'm going to do like a veggie pizza. Onion. 
Fresh basil. I wish they had a smaller pack, but that was all they had. Then I got some salami for the pizza. Then I got this little, um, what is this? Like meat tray type thing for the charcuterie board. Pizza sauce, of course. Then I got two of these pizza doughs. It's the plain. I wanted the garlic, but they're all out. Then I got, of course, the mozzarella cheese. And it's already sliced, so it's perfect to put on the pizza. But that is everything. So I just got home from the meeting. Right when I got here, I quickly made the charcuterie board because I'm literally starving. Here's the cheese board. So nothing fancy because like I said, I'm starving. <laughs> so I just have strawberry jam from Sprouts, walnuts, and just a garlic cheese to pair with the crackers and the three different meats. This is the perfect bite. I have the prosciutto at the top and then the walnuts and underneath I have the cheese and the strawberry jam. Cheers. So good. We're gonna start making the pizza. So we have everything prepped here. I, well, not me, but my boyfriend chopped the onions, tomato, mozzarella, mushrooms, and the basil. Then we just have some garlic, extra flour, the salami, the pizza sauce, and then the dough. It's said to let it sit in a bowl with flour for 30 minutes. Don't really know why, but we're just waiting on that right now. Oh, we're gonna have right now. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, this is usually how people do it. What are we? Hot daisies or what? This is so cute. Hot daisy who? So here is the heart pizza. You guys, this was honestly a lot harder <laughs> than we thought. It was so hard to like shape the dough. So that's why it looks kind of wonky. But this is the heart, the cute one. Then we have just a regular one here. We're so excited. We're gonna pop it in the oven right now. Then we're gonna eat it. Just here sitting down snacking and drinking a ton of water and my newest obsession i need to talk about this this is my simple modern water flask <sighs> guys i'm gonna talk about this so that is my new favorite thing because if there's one thing about me you guys everything needs to be a fucking vibe the li even the littlest things like my water flask i can't have a stanley or some weird looking water bottle like this fits the vibe check it's nice it's slim it's minimal and the plus is i feel like i drink so much more water when i have this and i'm also snacking on these say bonbon gummies it's from neighbor market 
It's a new um, market that opened up in downtown Phoenix in the Churchill. They have the best selection of wine, beers, non-alcoholic beverages, snacks, everything you could think of. That's also where I got the wine that I drank earlier for dinner. And dinner was amazing, by the way. The pizza was a little bit harder than I thought to make, but it tasted so good. Way better than like frozen pizza because it just tastes way more fresh. But right now, I thought it would be a good time to catch up with you guys since we haven't really talked or you guys haven't really seen me since last year. But I thought I would chat about my goals for 2023 and I'll show you guys my vision board to explain a little bit more about it. My laptop is dying so I need to be quick. But this is my 2023 vision board. It makes me so happy and so motivated whenever I look at it. But I'll start on this corner. This is a picture of a vlog camera because I want to vlog more consistently and post more consistently on my channel at least one vlog a week and also want to work on showing up on the camera more authentically myself i feel like i have a hard time doing that because i get shy but i know that the only reason to get better is to keep vlogging more often this is a book because i want to read more often and a bunch of these photos just signify self-care like this here this eat healthy and this photo is of a girl. I don't know if she's reading or journaling. Either one. I want to do both more consistently. And I have food here and here because I want to buy more whole foods and eat more whole foods and cook a lot more at home instead of eating out. So I want to cook at least five times a week. This is a photo of a butterfly because I love butterflies but also matcha because I am in my matcha era right now. I've been drinking so much matcha and I do notice I feel a lot better drinking matcha than coffee. I don't get the, what is it called? Burnout? Is it burnout, babe? Yeah. The crash, the crash, that's what I meant. Then here's a photo of Mexico because I've never been. So I really wanna visit, hopefully this year. I have a photo of New York here, London, Amsterdam, Paris because I do want to do a lot of traveling this year. This is a photo of a reformer machine because I want to continue doing Pilates and being more active, so working out a lot more. This is a skincare cabinet because I want to focus more on taking care of my skin. I feel like I really fell off last year and you could really tell, so I really want to come up with a good skincare routine. This photo is just of a couple holding hands because I want to work on strengthening my relationship and the connection that I have with my partner. This is a cafe in Paris because I want to go there. And this is a photo of clothes and accessories because I just want to have a lot more fun with my style and experiment a lot more. This is a photo of a girl with tattoos because surprisingly I have no tattoos yet so I really want to get my first one this year and I just have some quotes here healthier body, healthier skin, healthier hair, healthier mindset this is another one, note to self, recharge, early bedtime, drink more water, etc, etc and then this is a photo of an empty apartment, empty home because I do want to move this year so that is some of my main goals for this year. I know that vision boards aren't for everybody, but I love them. I've been doing vision boards since 2020, and it's just a good way to start the year, to set your intentions for the year, and I always put it on my laptop and my phone wallpaper so that every time I look at it, I always see it. So. It keeps me focused and is a daily reminder of what I'm working towards. And it's also crazy to look back at my old vision boards and see that a lot of the goals that I had, I accomplished them and the places that I put on the vision board that I wanted to travel to, I have traveled to. So I'm telling you they work. Things are surprisingly already coming to fruition from this vision board, for example, my boyfriend bought us tickets to this place that we've always been wanting to travel to since like pre-covid um but we never did because of covid obviously but he bought us flights or booked us flights whatever you want to call it across the country to this one destination so in the comments down below 
guess where I'm going hint is that it's on my vision board I'm so excited this year is gonna be the best year yet and obviously I'm gonna be taking you guys along 2023 is just all about showing up as my highest self accomplishing all of my goals eating healthier exercising traveling and most importantly healing if any of those are also your goals for this year then let's do it together but this year is going to be the best year yet i just know it i have such a good feeling we're all gonna thrive 